It started as a game. Since then, Professor Layton has had many exciting adventures, selling 7.3 million copies to fans all over the world. Today, we visit one of the Professor's earliest, most intriguing investigations with his apprentice number one, Luke. That's me, by the way. As Professor Layton makes the leap from game to movie. Luke, I think I've finally got to the bottom of this mystery. I can't see a solution, Professor. Now I can't see at all. Our villain escaped through this room. But there's no way out of here. <laughs> Remember, this case began with the impossible. That letter threatened that the bell would be silenced. But it wasn't the bell that vanished. It was its sound. The clue to this room was written at the tower entrance. When the stars and planets align, you will see your way. But what's the answer, Professor? Now listen, a true gentleman must always be patient, Luke. Uh-huh. People have long watched the stars and planets move together. So, Professor, the answer is in the stars? Yes, in a manner of speaking. Solver. He is also an eminent archaeologist, archaeologist, puzzle solver, and true gentleman. I'm Luke, his apprentice. I handle the professor's letters requesting him to solve puzzles. I also make tea and tidy up because the professor never has time. My special talent is that I can talk to animals. Sort of. I've been the professor's apprentice for a while now. I'm learning to solve puzzles like the professor, and I hope that one day, I too will be a true gentleman. The one who holds the key to this mystery is you! Is you! Is you! you that I'll tidy up next. <laughs> Luke, do you remember this song? Isn't that the one Janice used to sing? Yes. I can't believe it's three years since that case. 
Janice Quatlane was the professor's student before becoming a famous opera singer. One day, she sent a letter and some tickets. That letter pulled us into a complicated mystery that would take all our wits to solve. <laughs> One musician to play music as rich as a whole orchestra. Hmm. And I must say, it is very beautiful. Not as beautiful as Janice's voice, Professor. Dear Professor, I need your help. Something astonishing has happened recently, and I don't know who else to turn to. Melina Whistler, a friend of mine who died last year to speak to me in the body of a seven-year-old girl I know this sounds impossible but the girl knows things only Melina and I could know when I asked how this was possible she told me I have been given the gift of eternal life Janice Professor, do you believe this girl could really have eternal life? I don't know, Luke. But the key to all of this could be at the theater we've been invited to. Then let's hurry! You'd better get used to this sort of thing, if you want to be Professor Layton's second assistant. Second assistant? Oh, I am not his second assistant! <laughs> You're not? I am his apprentice! And I am his apprentice number one! <laughs> Did the professor say that to you? Uh, sort of. Uh... Emmy. How is your research going? Well, it appears it's not only this girl who is talking about eternal life. London is full of rumors and stories. They say with enough money and the right connections, you can buy the gift of eternal life. Eternal life? The eternal kingdom? What's the eternal kingdom? It is the title of the opera Janice is starring in. It is the first opera Oswald Whistler has written in years. Oswald Whistler. Whistler. I knew it! Janice's friend Melina was called Whistler. Oswald Whistler and Melina Whistler. Melina was Oswald Whistler's daughter. I dedicate this opera to the memory of my daughter, Melina. Uh, Professor!
closer look. That's Dr. Schrader. But of course. The opera is based on the legend of Ambrosia, the Eternal Kingdom. My old mentor, Dr. Schrader, is an expert on Ambrosia. But the only proof he's ever found is part of Ambrosia's seal. The kingdom is such a mystery, no one even knows where it was. The Eternal Kingdom. Ambrosia. Continue your research, Emmy. Of course I will, Professor. What a strange-looking theater. Perhaps it is supposed to represent Ambrosia. Huh? <gasps> What's the legend about, Professor? It is said that the kingdom was once ruled by a beautiful queen who loved music above all else. People of the kingdom adore their queen. But one day she fell terribly ill. Her people tried everything to save her. But they did not succeed. The queen died just as a remedy was discovered. The elixir of eternal life. The people mourned the queen they had failed to save. decided to drink the elixir of eternal life. They would live forever and wait for their queen to be returned, reborn. There are those who believe Ambrosia still exists, hidden somewhere waiting for their queen to return. But no one knows the truth, and the kingdom has never been found. Truly fortunate. For tonight, you will witness a miracle. Bravo! <laughs> Finally, what I've been waiting to hear. I tell you, it's a miracle I stayed awake this long. As was promised when you purchased your tickets. Tonight, one person from the audience gathered here will receive the gift of eternal life. Of eternal life. It would seem that we are the only ones who didn't know about this, Luke. However, there is one condition. What condition? All of you gathered here are going to play a little game. The rules are simple. The prize for the lucky winner? Eternal life. But those of you who lose will lose your lives. Our lives? What's going on? You must admit, this is a small risk for those desiring such a big prize. Eternal life, instant death. Well, what a twist. How ingenious. How <laughs> this is. We are going to put up with this. Speak for yourself. I've only got six months to live. Yoo-hoo, I'll play your game. I'll play whatever you want. This is just terrible. 
terrible! Let me through! Inspector Grosky of the Yard. My finely honed investigation showed something suspicious would happen here in this theater tonight, and I am here to put a stop to it. Ladies and gentlemen, no one will lose their lives. I, Inspector Grosky of the Yard, have arrested this diabolical criminal. Are you quite sure of that, Inspector? I say, Leighton, is that you? At your service. Who's your little friend? Nick Triton. Huh? What the? Huh? A puppy? Oh. Oh. Professor, the roof! Oh. Oh. Inspector! Let us begin our journey to eternal life. Luke! Coming! What's happening? Does he think he can trap us? We're already at sea. What are you doing? Can you see a way out? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm swimming back. I'm not sure that's altogether wise. <gasps> Very strange. You don't often see sharks. Well, not in these waters. I can go home at last. <laughs> not even out of breath. Hmm. Nice try, sharks. Just leave everything to me. I will play for you who so loved music. Huh? Huh?
threatens our lives and you play music? We're sailing out to sea and there are sharks all around us. Mr. Whistler, you were the one behind this opera. Tell me, did you also plan this deadly game? I was asked to compose an opera. That is all. <laughs> so you say. Mm, what should we do, Professor? Professor! Huh? huh? Janice. Huh? I'm sorry, Professor. I never dreamed anything like this would happen. Really, I didn't. Please don't apologize. Is it not the duty of every true gentleman to help a lady in need? <laughs> oh, you haven't changed at all. Where is the little girl from your letter? Um, I haven't seen her since this morning. I asked Mr. Whistler, but, well, he said I should concentrate on my performance. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are all passengers together on the Crown Plateau. It is time for our little puzzle-solving game to begin. Puzzle-solving? Game? The rules are very simple. The winner, meaning the last player left, receives eternal life. Professor? I don't see that any of us have a choice but to play the game, Luke. Let us begin. Puzzle number 001. Look around you, ladies and gentlemen. Look for the oldest thing you can see and gather by it. Sounds simple, but there is a catch. Back to the theater. Huh? Professor? Think back to what he said on the first question. Uh, um... He told us we were to look for the oldest thing we could see. But he didn't say the oldest thing on the ship. That's right. He didn't say that, did he, Professor? That's because the answer to this puzzle is not on the ship. Then where is it? The oldest thing we can see is the sky with its stars, billions of years old. Of course! As brilliant as always, Professor! Ladies and gentlemen, your time is up. The oldest thing you can see are the stars above you. To those of you here in the theater, congratulations. <gasps> you can continue. Yes. But for those of you who got it wrong... <laughs> Let us proceed to puzzle number 002. Now, go to where you can see the largest crown. 
The largest crown? <laughs> this is hardly a competition if he keeps gathering us all together. Oh, there are hundreds of crowns on display all over this silly little ship. There is no way we can compare all of them in the time we have. She is right. There is no time. Maybe all the crowns are red herrings. Professor, can you find the answer? I wonder. Professor, I think you should just leave this one to me. Luke! Don't worry, Janice. I'm the professor's apprentice number one. <laughs> That's quite the apprentice you have. The biggest crown. 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 Now we are all passengers together on the crown plateau. Yes! That's it! The ship we're on is the Crown Patoon! Well done, my boy. I remember seeing there was a big crown in the entrance where we came in, on the sign with the theatre's name on it. Yes! A great big one! Come on! That must be it! <sighs> Professor? Come on, let's go! Everyone else in the entrance? But the entrance is the other way, isn't it? Huh? Professor, we're going the wrong way. We have to go back. This way is fine, Luke. But. The crown in the entrance is also a red herring. Eh? He knew after the first puzzle we would look for trick questions. He hoped once we'd seen the small crowns weren't the answer, we'd go to the entrance instead. But. That is also a trick. But why make it so difficult? There can only be one winner at the end. So, the puzzles he sets can't be too easy. He has to try and throw us off the scent. By putting a trick in the first puzzle and gathering us together, he wanted to make us think this answer would be the same. Oh, this is making my head hurt. Don't worry, you'll see soon enough. Careful! Stand back, I'll do it. Leave it all to me. You've done this before. He spent some time at sea as captain of a merchant ship. Don't you know? Curtis O'Donnell's the name. Come, we should hurry. Mr. Whistler? Janice. My adopted daughter, Melina. It appears you solved this puzzle too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope everyone doesn't turn up. But you said the crown in the entrance was the right answer. The more fools go the wrong way, the quicker I get my hands on eternal life. Eh? And I really wish you would stop giving out hints to everyone else. Let's help. What hints? Nina, where did you disappear to? Why? Oh. Why did you bring the professor? Nina? He mustn't win this game. Oh. Are you Melina's friend or not? Please, let us have a wish! Our wish? going we're going to where we can see the biggest crown of course but I can't see a crown anywhere you'll see in a minute Luke 
But it was you who shouted out the ship's name. And yet you still don't get it. Excuse me, miss. Uh... Amelia. Amelia. How did you come to be at the theater tonight? Yes, a schoolgirl like you couldn't afford a ticket like that. It cost a small fortune. Amelia didn't buy her ticket. She was invited. Sadly, I lost my daughter, who loved music. I wanted to give a young girl the opportunity to hear my new opera in her place. Of course, she had to be as talented as my daughter. I searched far and wide to find the right person. And I invited this special young girl. She is very talented. You see, Amelia is a British chess champion. Just 12 of us left now. Well, seems like this competition shouldn't go on too much longer before I claim my prize. Mm -hmm. You're very sure of yourself. Which is a shame, seeing as I'm going to win. I shall remain beautiful for all of time. <laughs> <sighs> this is almost an exact copy of a scene in my book, Murder my. on the Tank. Can it really be? As the hero. Wait! Flee are you in Annie Dretch, the mystery writer? Oh, how flattering. It seems my work is known even amongst London's super rich celebrities. I'm honored, Mrs. Radley. Mm -hmm. I've seen you in the gossip magazines. Well, well. Aren't I a lucky fella to be in a boat with all these famous people? It gets better. That eccentric gentleman is Mr. Frederick Berglund, president of the World Fleet Corporation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and over there, a football legend. The man with the golden left leg. Pierre Starbuck? <laughs> I thought your left leg looked familiar. Golden left leg? Here's what's left. Oh. I need eternal life, if I'm ever to get my strength back. Huh? Oh. Hmm. She's a bit shy. Mr. Whistler, is it true that this girl came back to life, reborn as Melina? Huh? Where did you hear that? Nonsense. I adopted this girl. I only call her Melina as a sign of affection. But... Uh... Janice, it makes me happy that you wish Melina was still with us. But she's gone. I had decided to carry on composing for her sake. When that man asked me to write an opera, I agreed to do this uh, for Melina, to play for my daughter's memory. But I never expected this. Professor! The ship! It was the biggest crown all along! Ladies and gentlemen in the boats, my congratulations. Uh -huh. You have come one step closer to eternal life. Professor? Now sit back. Enjoy the next part of your journey.
Janice! <laughs> She's a bright girl. She wouldn't get lost. Oh, why hasn't she come home yet? And could I possibly see a picture of her? Yes. Dr. Schrader, does this come from Ambrosia? Yes, this is the only Ambrosian artifact ever found. It is a priceless treasure. Man has always dreamt of eternal life. Even today, with all our technology and medicines, we must all face death one day. That is nature's unchanging law. But of course, People have long sought a way to escape that fate. Doctor, do you believe Ambrosia really exists, even now? I certainly hope so. Even if the elixir of eternal life is just a legend, Ambrosia would be a great discovery. There are many people who want to study it in person. And we have some breaking <laughs> news. Early this morning, a submarine came ashore mm -hmm. bearing a uh -huh. number of the missing audience members from the Crown Pitone, the theatre which vanished last night. Singer Janice Quatlane and composer Oswald Whistler are amongst those still missing. Survivors are reporting that they were all part of a bizarre game that had promised uh -huh. eternal life. Mm -hmm. Search party. I have to go. But Emmy! ...finding the missing people. <sighs> we shall keep you posted with any developments. Yeah. As and when they happen. Where are we now? It appears to be totally deserted. Look there! Is it? It is! Huh? I'm sure of it! This is Ambrosia! Huh? Ambrosia, you say? Or at least... This is where Ambrosia once was. I'm Marco Brock, and I am an amateur historian. For years now, I have spent my time compiling this scrapbook on the eternal kingdom of Ambrosia. You collected all that. Oh, good, a history geek. This, this is the famous Ambrosian seal. It certainly looks like the seal. I saw it once at Dr. Schrader's house. I'm actually here. My dream has come true. Yes. If this really is Ambrosia, our dreams will be realized. The legend of eternal life. Does this mean the elixir of eternal life could be nearby? <gasps> What's that there? A feast? A note. A reward for those left in the game. Why, nay? Good, I'm simply dying of thirst. Well, I for one want my reward. A reward? Or a new puzzle, perhaps? Oh, what? Hey? Um, 
I don't care. I'm going to eat. Mm. Oh, this is good. Really good. This game, this island, eating outside on the beach, watching the seashore here with you, Professor, it feels like a dream. Yes, these are perfect surroundings. They even have puzzles and ruins for us to examine. <laughs> puzzles and ruins? Oh, of course, puzzles and ruins are more romantic for you. Like this, and you hear the sea. Except it's never really worked for me, though. I hear it. Mm. You can. <laughs> That's pretty music. The sea taught it to me. The sea? Did you hear? Uh, uh? Mr. Whistler! Melina's just disappeared. She was there just then. She's just gone off to play somewhere. Uh -huh. Don't worry, she'll be back soon. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> your little break is over. Cross this river and reach the castle you see before you. Professor? First, we have to deal with the wolves. No! Oh, no. Don't they ever give up? Professor, look! <sighs> Cages. I've got it, Luke. Come on, those cages will get us out of danger. Huh? <laughs> Come on, then, you silly wolves! Ready? Wait! Over here! Now drop it! Now we're the ones who are trapped. No, this is the right answer. She's right. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ridiculous. 
It was easier to place ourselves in the cages than to trap the wolves inside them. That solved part of our problem, uh. Luke. What do we do next, Professor? It might be ridiculous, but it works. <sighs> we all have to move together. One, two, 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 one, this Professor Layton, or whoever he is, might actually have some brains under that hat after all. Professor, they've seen us! Let's go! Uh, no more running, Professor! <laughs> Even a true gentleman needs to get some exercise. <laughs> <sighs> How interesting. It would appear our deserted island is inhabited after all. Ha! Huh. So how are we going to reach that castle? I think I've found us a way to get there. Great! We can help! <laughs> there it is. There it goes. Wait, you can move them. Hang on. Whoa. 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 Oh. Oh. We built ourselves a helicopter! That was the idea! Ah! Faster, Professor! The wolves are catching us! This is as fast as it goes, I'm afraid. Whoa! Ah! This is like flying on a giant grasshopper! Don't you worry, Janice. You can hang on to me if you're scared. No, I'm not scared. This is great fun. Whoa! Whoa! This is fun! Yeah! Look, there's the castle, Professor. I'll try to land somewhere. Hang on tight. <gasps> But not to the pilot! Welcome to my castle, Professor. Ladies and gentlemen, please assemble at the courtyard. Uh. Oh. <laughs> so, you made it. And I thought you'd been turned into a tasty wolf dessert. Mm. Luke. Uh. Let us now proceed to puzzle number 004. As you can see, there are four doors leading to four towers. Now look at the courtyard. Hmm? Professor, there are letters here. One of these four towers contains the king's chamber. Find the door that leads into the king's chamber. And when you do, enter that tower. Hmm. 
H I K G. Ugh, I have no idea. Hmm? <laughs> Just a door between us and eternal life. Hmm. King Tower? King? Hmm. Uh, I got it, Professor. I am certain of it. K I N G spells king. So put I N between K and G, and so we have to go in the door between them. Oh, that's brilliant, Luke. <laughs> Luke, will you be all right by yourself for a while? Huh? There's something I have to check. But uh. I don't think this game is about eternal life after all. Professor Layton, why don't you lead us straight to the answer? Don't go. Come back. Wait. <laughs> Just wait there. We'll come back for you. Uh, oh. The professor. Don't worry, Janice. The professor will come back. <sighs> ah! uh, what's going on? We had the right answer. Jean Descolet, a humble scientist, and your host on this island. And now, our little game has almost come to an end. Hey? Uh, what? What is all this? Which one of us gets eternal life? What are you going to do to us, Descolet? Bring Miss Amelia to me. Oh. I'm sure I saw two submarines escape the ship. Two? Yes. The other one headed out to sea. Of course. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. So, this is where she lived. A 
A song of the sea. Ah. What a wonderful view. You're the person I came to see, Melina. You... You mustn't interfere! Where? Have you been living here? I was... I was very ill. My father brought me here. He thought the air would be good for me. That's why I'm so much better. Better? Why would you be better? You told Janice you'd been reborn with the gift of eternal life. I was. I was reborn. I was ill. I died and then I... I... I didn't die! He's not my daddy! Father brought me here! He didn't! Quiet! He'll find out! But... shh! Melina... I'm not Melina! Yes, I am! No! I want to go home! Stop it! Stop it! Huh? Huh? Of course. Everything is going according to plan, as I told you it would do. You kidnapped people. You sold all those tickets. That's no plan. <laughs> well, that was my plan. <laughs> <gasps> Miss 
Mr. Whistler. So you're involved in all this. Come, come, Amelia. Everything's okay. Where are the others? Why am I here alone? Because you are the winner. You will receive eternal life. What is this? The Detriger. <gasps> we brought it from the ship. This beautiful instrument doesn't just play music, Amelia. It will also give you the gift you crave of eternal life. And it was me who created it. Amelia, this way! Huh? Wait! I don't want eternal life! I want to give it to my granddad! He only has a month to live! He should be here! He has to drink the elixir of life! There is no elixir! Mr. Whistler, I have deduced you never intended to give eternal life to the winner. <laughs> On the contrary, you were intending to steal their life, take it away from them. That is just not true. I've finally discovered the truth, the awful truth behind this game. Uh, what is it, Professor? One year ago, when Melina was dying, or rather, because she was dying, you put a vast sum of money into building this Detrigan. Assisting you was the scientist Jean Descolet. <laughs> but the Detrigan is no ordinary instrument. It is a machine that can copy a person's personality, their memory, all into another person's brain. What? A copy? Is that possible? Unfortunately, the results weren't perfect. Uh -huh. The person's real personality, their memories, would force the copy back out of their mind. Nina here showed me that. Tell me again, that person who you were talking to before. Mm, it, it was Melina. And she's gone now. <laughs> you knew Nina's memories were returning. That Melina would be lost without another host. You needed a subject with a brain that would accept Melina. That is why you invited gifted young girls like Amelia. I'm sure the game for eternal life was Descolet's idea. So, all you wished was to copy Melina's memory to keep her alive forever. Very impressive, Leighton. When did you realize I was involved? I suspected it for a while, and my suspicions were confirmed when I saw this gloomy castle. Then I knew it must be you orchestrating this plot, Descolet. <laughs> this one uh, will have to do. Uh, I can't uh, let her memories fade. There's no uh, time. No time. No. Uh, 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 what? Hmm? Who took the key? Who took it? Leighton, was it you? Give it back! The Detrigan can't hold her memories much longer! She'll disappear forever! Please calm yourself. I know who has the key. Ah! Uh. That person holds the key to the Detrigan. And to explain all the mysteries in this case, they know everything you've done. Hmm. 
Who is it? You haven't guessed? They hid themselves carefully to save you from your mistakes. Oh. So, who is it then, Professor? It is you! Oh. Uh, what? J Janice? Hmm? Oh! I think it is time to tell us everything, Janice. Or should I say, Melina? <sighs> You're right. I am Melina. Oh! <gasps> You thought putting my memories into Janice had failed, but it hadn't. <coughs> Janice allowed me to stay here, to my very great surprise. She buried her personality voluntarily, so that I could act in her place. been ill for so long. Now I could walk and dance and sing. Then I didn't need anyone else. Congratulations, Whistler. We've accomplished our objective. As the time went by, I came to realize how wrong this is. I can't steal another's life so I can live my own. So? You sent me that letter? Yes. Janice told me you were the right man, Professor. You were the only hope of stopping my father. No, I... I can't take other people's lives. But I knew, while father had that machine, that he would never let me go. Uh, uh, Melina... Uh, uh. Janice has told me so many great things about you, Professor. She is very, very fond of you indeed. Melina, <gasps> I, I, all I did, it, it was all for you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love. But please, this all has to stop. How can I possibly keep on living without you here with me? Tell me! Ah! 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 Professor! The roof! Ah. What the...? Ah! 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 Melina! What are you doing? Descale? I'm afraid I need this young lady's voice, if I'm to accomplish my real goal here. What are you planning? To bring Ambrosia back to life. <gasps> the legend of Ambrosia is famous, but it was I who discovered the complete seal. Later, do you know what the lines around that symbol mean? They're music. That is correct. Ambrosian music. That seal is the first key to unlocking Ambrosia. It is a song of the stars. Of the stars? The second key is you, Melina. What? How can I be a key? The Ambrosian Seal hides not one key, but two of them. Two songs that resonate in perfect harmony. A song of the stars and the sea. A song of the sea. When two songs are played together here, Ambrosia will rise once more. How could I not see it? All he ever wanted was the Ambrosia Kingdom! But just as I crack the code, the one person who knew a song of the sea, the other key I needed, could no longer sing it. But her memories remained. All I needed was someone to bring those memories alive.
Uh, 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 watch out, Professor. Stop it! You must sing if you want to save the Melina. This is your farewell performance. Sing, Melina. Sing a song of the sea. <sighs> Oh. Huh? Sing, Melina. will rise again! Oh, run, everyone, run! Luke! Yes! Uh, Professor! Uh, oh. <laughs> It rise again. Sing it. Sing. door to Ambrosia will not open by this music, I will tear it down! Save Melina! Huh. There is a way to save her. Oh. Emmy, stay here. Luke, with me! Coming! <laughs> Stop. 
Stop me with that contraption! See what? You only solved part of the puzzle. What are you talking about? You found the songs of the sea and the stars. The seal chose not two songs, but three, Descalet. Hmm. You cannot raise Ambrosia unless you look at the pattern another way. <sighs> if you turn the seal upside down, another melody appears. The sun. Yes. The final key is... A song of the sun. Without that song, Ambrosia will never appear. 
Descolet. Melina, sing a song of the sea. Yes. Melina, Melina, uh. M Melina, Father, 
Melina, please don't ever scare me like that again. I miss you so much. Never leave me. Melina, what? let's go home. We'll play the piano together. We'll have so much time. We'll play every day. I'm we'll... sorry. Dear father, I've only ever brought you grief and sadness, haven't I? No, you're my only joy, and I couldn't save you. It was fate. There was nothing you could do. But I... 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 Listen to me. You have to start a new life. Oh, I don't want a new life. I cannot stay here. But even if I am gone, dear father, I will still live on in your memory. Even though you won't see me, I will always be with you. Don't talk like that, please, Melina. <sighs> father, do you remember what you used to say when you left for a concert? No matter... No matter how far I am from you, wherever I go, you will always be in my heart. Father, no matter how far I go, I will always be in your heart. Whenever you remember me, I will always be there. Oh. I must go now, Father. Thank you for loving me. I have to go. Janice, I'm sorry to have borrowed your body for so long. Don't go, Melina. You can stay. Don't worry. It's best for everyone that I go now. I'm so glad you treasured the special pendant that I left you. <gasps> Melina! Farewell. Janice, it is time for you to start living your own life again. <laughs> Farewell, Father. Melina! Farewell, Luke. Apprentice number one. Melina. And um, farewell, Professor Lee. Melina. I'm so glad that all of you were my very last memory. Professor, Melina has left us. Is there no way to get her back? <laughs> now listen to me, Janice. Melina hasn't gone. Look, if you remember her, she will always be here. That is what she said to us. That is right, isn't it, Professor? Yes. Remember her. For always. I'll remember as well. <sighs> Mr. Whistler, I'm afraid I must arrest you. Uh, 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 Please, uh, let me play one last song.
So the secret of Ambrosia wasn't eternal life. The Ambrosians live forever because we remember their beloved queen. So that's it, and another mystery has been solved. of the Queen of Ambrosia. I think she might have been, Luke. The legend was said a kingdom would arise once more when its beloved queen returned.